Thank you. I'm, Connie and I are so sorry that it takes a sad event, a tragic event uh, like this to bring us together, but we're grateful that we're grateful that our response as a community is in fact to gather together to pray, to think, and to heal. A decade or so ago, I, I had the privilege of visiting the Golden Temple in Amritsar, the Temple of God, and I, I was struck by the four entrances to this temple. Uh, the four entrances symbolizing a, a faith of peace and, and openness and embracing a faith that, that brought all people together regardless of, of their actual religion. And that's what Sikhism, I think, represents to the world, not just to those um, who practice this faith, uh, that, it, that it, in fact, welcomes all. I, I remember a conversation maybe 30 years ago I had um, with Ratanji about, about Sikhism. And he told me that the word Sikh means a Punjabi student or disciple. And all of you that practice this faith obviously know that, and that was the symbol of the turban, among other things. But that this is a faith of study, a faith of a faith and a, and a way of life of study and humility and nonviolence and peace. Um, Martin Luther King would have called it the beloved community, and in his Christian terms, uh, each of us in our own faith uh, has a way of expressing that. Uh, I, uh, some years ago, I was um, asked by the uh, leadership of the House of Representatives to attend Mother Teresa's funeral in Calcutta. And I, I, I will never forget, they brought, they had the six, the six or seven major faiths of India assembled to speak to us about whether, what Mother Teresa and her teachings and her way of life meant to them. Uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, uh, Sikhism, Zoroastrianism, uh, and, and if I recall, and what each of them said about her and about her mission and her way of life and her teachings uh, were very similar. They all, each, each faith expressed a golden rule of sorts, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I would say that as a Christian, uh, Sikhs and Buddhists and Hindus and Zoroastrians and, and Muslims would say it, perhaps in a different way, but not too different. And that's, that's really what brings us together today, I think, in, in, in memory of those who were killed, in memory of, of marking that these are things that shouldn't happen in this world, uh, and find a way by praying and thinking and, 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 and honoring those, those who had passed away. I think that in so many ways, grief has a way of sneaking up on us. And I hope that today, and, and all of us who have grieved for our individual loved ones in our family or our close friends, um, know the waves of grief that seem to pass and they come back. And I know that, that you, as you grieve for uh, those six in Milwaukee, uh, will we'll experience that, the, these waves of grief. I hope today is a reminder of that, that all of us believe in peace, believe in nonviolence. And my prayer today and, and Connie's prayer is that you know that while we may not share your religion, we in fact do share your faith and and God and peace and nonviolence and a way of life uh, to love one another and to work together towards the same goal.